Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen and this is Heavens of Sorcery. Once again we're going to be diving back in, getting a little bit done today on the quest book, or at least that's the plan, and um, finding out what's next, because honestly um, when I open up my inventory and look at stuff I, I don't have a lot here, I mean some of it is just like some collected knowledge tidbits, and when I look at the advancements I see chapter 5 is open, and I do see some more things here that are not listed on my book of options. So I, I at least see the path is somewhat more clear. I like Discoveries of the Doomed. What have we here? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's probably going to be season two content. But anyway, let's um let's open this. My, my Terra Shatterer is now level or rank B, as, as you know. Uh, I got efficiency four on breaking three and fortune three on it. So that's good. I'm very pleased with that. And I can turn it on and off. And for some reason, my volume. Oh. Is off. There we go. Back to normal. Yeah, there we are. So when I hit, when I click right click with this, I can actually mine like a pretty big area now. I think it's actually bigger than three by three at this point. I think it's like a five by five, but eh, not too bothered. So what what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make a transmutation catalyst, which is you know a bunch of stuff here. I I'm, I've made an ingot of the skies several episodes back. I just didn't do anything with it. I made another alchemy uh, catalyst because I. I really like the one that I have <laughs> underneath my Batania uh, mana pool over there, so I'm, I made a whole new one for this. And we're, I'm, I'm hoping that this will work. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it, it still worked, even though that other tree is in the way. I didn't even think about that. It's kind of dangerous. Um, and I do have my magnet. Yes, I do. Okay, good. I hope it still works properly now that I'm looking at this. I mean, I've got all the particles, so I don't see why it wouldn't. But I didn't anticipate another tree interfering with its growth. This is just a long, long process. There we go. Got it. All right. Um, maybe it just takes longer because I don't have enough aura. I mean, this... This tree here, don't get me wrong, is absolutely fabulous. These trees, I should say, because there are several. And this one actually regrew, oh, until just then, and that that kind of chunked half the tree away. But that's all right. It'll, as we've witnessed, it'll grow itself back. Um, but these trees here, they will bring the uh, the aura back up to zero, or maybe plus ten or whatever, plus one or something. But it it won't. Oh, there's there's the rain. At least it's nighttime now, and I can sleep through it. Um, it won't actually increase the aura to like fantastic amounts, you know, or anything like that. It's also thundering. Ooh. All right. There we go. Much better. Uh, it will just take away negative aura amounts. So if your aura starts getting really bad, uh, like you're using a furnace way too often or several furnaces or something like that as an example, um, then it will just help offset that or bring it up to par. So that's that's a good thing. It'll at least keep it from going really bad, but it, it won't ever make it really, really good. That's what you need other things for. In this case, let's see if I can get up here. I've got my transmutation catalyst. How does this work? You put it on one of these side things here, and there you go. Yep. And the use for this? Well, you can now infuse stuff. By taking some rotten flesh, I can turn it into leather, icy crystals into stormy crystals. Oh. I can change all of the crystals into other crystals. Ah, and I can change my bottled darkness into dragon's breath as well. That's good. That's good. Mushroom, nether wart, nether quartz into the prismarine shards, which I thought I would need at some point until the recipes got changed on a version update. Sand into soul sand, etc. That's pretty cool. Oh, charcoal into coal. I don't need to worry about coal anymore. All right. Because before I didn't really have a way of obtaining it very easily. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, wait, what was that? What is this? This is Lunar Stone to Infused. Okay, yeah, the, the same stuff. So uh, am I going through regular natural altar stuff at this point? Yeah, because it, it doesn't have the... Okay, yeah, it's got to have the Transmutation Catalyst images. So I could actually get regular lily pads if I want instead of chilled lily pads. Ooh. <laughs> but it's good to know that I can uh, transform these things on this altar. It's worth testing as well. So let's see, what kind of things... Might, let, let's just go grab some rotten flesh for starters, shall we? Let's just fly over here and land, grab a little bit of rotten flesh. Just one should do, because I don't think that it would do this before. 
There we go. So now when I put this on here, it should convert it into Rotten Flesh, which of course is going to be below. Yep, or it should convert it into Leather. How did I get 150 Prismarine blocks? That must have been part of the reward for that quest. That was, that's a lot of, that's a lot. Okay. Oh, and I left the, I still have the bone meal on me. I'm silly. It at least doesn't take much for me to get back and forth anymore, especially with these wings. There we go. Uh, so let's click on this. We'll go back to the Arcanist Magics and see what else it would say. I thought that I had it in here. I guess not. Oh, the old switcheroo. I thought that was the one. One transmutation catalyst. And we got 150. Oh, I guess I just needed to click to click on this. I think it's time we give the natural altar a bit of an upgrade. Crafting a transmutation catalyst and placing it on one of the short pillars in the altar structure will allow it to perform some simple transmutations. Yep. It's nice. So now I have two ways of transmuting things among, well, I guess two one-step methods. Otherwise, there are plenty of others. Uh, and then the next one's going to be Darkosto's birthday. If you're not familiar with who Darkosto is, he's a mod pack maker who's made many a very popular mod pack, as well as a few of his own mods. Um, like, uh, uh, oh, um, Seven Tech Ages, for example, is probably his most well-known. He's made so, uh, one or two of the, um, the sky blocks as well, and He's just done a whole bunch of them, like Invasion. Um, uh, there, there's some real old classics, like back on 110 as well. But anyway, uh, while the old ritual table can be used to summon many creatures, there are some more exotic beasts, such as the frogs we need, that are out of its reach. For those, you'll need an altar of birthing structure. Every creature created with this altar will require a spirit of birthing, obtained by breeding animals with a slight excess of aura. And of course, my animals are way over there. And I'm not really too keen on moving them right now, but I need an uh, altar of birthing and a spirit of birthing. And oh, I get spirits of birthing as a reward. And this is what it has to look like here. Oh boy, that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to build a platform for this. I think I've got most of this set up. I don't know if I have all the ingots of the skies. Did I bring them all over already? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh, uh, something that I added is this here so I can get to the uh, Gaia Guardian area. Just right click. And it takes me over. It's nice. So when I don't have my wings on, I can at least get back over, get over here easily. And these are luminizers. And if you're not familiar with those, uh, let's actually try clicking on it. It's dragonstone, which is uh, basically, uh, is it diamonds tossed in there? Mana diamonds tossed in an elven portal. Uh, some glowstone and some red string, which is made from some of that ender air bottles that I made. So that's pretty darn cool. Now, you can loop it so that they connect back as well, but then you're just going to keep bouncing back and forth, and you have to press sneak in order to get off the ride. Um, and the, that's just kind of awkward, especially if there's like a little bit of a lag with you pressing sneak, and then it drops you halfway between or something. That's... That's just something I'd like to avoid. So I figured one way, it's fine, and that, that gets me over that. You can actually have it like loop around the entire base if you want. They're really cool. Um, they'll go a pretty decent distance as well. But let's have a look over here before we go into the Misty World. Hmm. I could probably add on a platform back here. I intended on making one. That's why I've got this little plank here. Put another one of those. I could put the, uh, the Altar of Birthing just right there. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. That sounds pretty decent to me. But for now, let's go into the Misty World and see if I can actually make the darn thing. Uh, I am not wearing my cape that keeps me protected. There we go. While I'm over there. And I'm, I am I have arrived already. So let's see. I, I took the time already to make one of these Attuned Celestial Crystals for uh, Bootes. Um And if you're not familiar with that, I made one already. Uh, earlier in the in the series, oops, there we go, for uh, the Dissidia one. You just need to basically outline it out there while it's in the sky, and then you can uh, toss a Celestial Crystal in there, and it will attune it, and then you can put it in here, and you'll get the little outline on the bottom. Now, I don't have anything that it actually requires on the outside. I don't have those sky, the sky ingots. I thought I did. I guess I need to make those. Well, that's not a problem. We can, we can do that. I'll meet you back at the other altar. I think that's why I actually had these horizonite ingots tucked in on the side here. Get out of here, Iron Berry's an egg. I don't want you. Um, is because I had planned on doing stuff with these. So I'm going to need these to be converted 
via Aura, at least I'm pretty sure that they will need to be. Let's just double check. The thing I'm making is the Altar of Birthing, which I need the Ingots of the Skies, and I think I needed a token of Euphoria still. So let's work on that. Alright, I now have three tokens of Euphoria. Why did I make three? I don't know. Uh, I suppose I'll be needing potentially one for something else in the future. Like a shifting sundial, creational catalyst, um, I guess. I don't know. I only need uh, the two though, so I'm going to store the other one for now. Because the tokens of joy are a lot easier to make. And you only need one spirit of calling to make a whole lot of whatever is in the offering table. So that's kind of a nice thing. Oh gosh, every time I go somewhere around this base, I, I swear if there's something that I can do to negate the iron berries from falling. <laughs> oh, all right, let's let's head on over to the uh, the other area. All right, hopefully this will finish things off. There we go, and everything's glowing properly. It's nighttime. Excellent. Now I just need a magic wand to set it off and there we have it i now have an altar of birthing but that is not all as you saw in here we need to make an actual little structure which does that does it even say what it is that is needed no i i have to guess what these blocks are to activate simply drop the ingredients on the ground nearby right but um hmm I, i'm going to need whatever the heck these are, blocks. So time to go check that out. I, I do have in my inventory also, let's put this away. Uh, I have the, where is it? The book, the Akashic Tome, which I can open up to Book of Natural Aura and I could potentially look it up. So let's look up uh, birthing, Altar of Birthing, and it should tell me what it is. All the possible creatures to be spawned. Creature creating the, yep. This formation needs to be created around the Altar of Birthing for it to work as expected. See, I don't know what's underneath it either. Um, and then it tells you all the different animals that you can make, which is cool, I gotta say. Uh, but let's, let's actually read, I'm gonna read through this and see if it actually gives me any further clue. All right, so here's the catch. In order for this to work, there needs to be at least a slight excess of aura present in the surrounding area, which I don't know if those trees will, will give me. I might actually need to make another altar in order to obtain a positive aura effect. But for each new baby born, there's a chance of a, a few spirits birthing to be created in the process. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell me, but I'm pretty sure that that's just going to be, uh, what is that, aura? Aura stuff? Yeah, there we go. Infused bricks, ancient planks, nothing really too major there. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like to me. I, I'm guessing... I, I don't know what it is that's underneath it, though. I guess I can visualize it and it'll tell me if I have it right or not when I place it down. So I'm going to need to get a whole bunch of wheat and these items and set up an area. I might even put an ancient oak sapling out on the far side. Let's go plan this out real quick. Uh, we're going to head back to the overworld. All right, so what I'm thinking here is that we are going to probably... Excuse me. Uh, we're probably going to have the uh, altar of birthing right here, so it's just butted up against this. It, like, leads right into it. 
And then maybe on the far side of that, I have one of those ancient oaks. Or on either side? Now, either side might be a little close. On the far side of it, I'll probably have one of those ancient oaks so that I can uh, ensure that the aura stays at at least a zero or a slight increase. I don't know that it actually does increase very much, if at all. But, I mean, that's, that's potentially one way to go. So I'm just going to get all the stuff, start assembling this, and I'll be back. All right, as it turns out, it doesn't have to have anything underneath it. Uh, I guess this is another thing that you could potentially automate at some point. But I like having this immediately next to the, the critters here. I just need to get a little bit of wheat, not, not an egg. Thank you. I need regular wheat. There we go. And I just need to... Oh, stop it. I need to just slowly walk over here. I don't want to trounce things. I don't think that I will trounce anything while I've got my wings on, but... All right, everybody, come on over here. Come on over. Come on over. Come on over. There we go. Make the babies. Makes the babies. Come on. Am I getting anything? Are you guys not close enough? They made babies. It's complete. I guess, I guess they're not close enough. Maybe I need to expand this out then. So maybe what I'll do is I will expand out this platform a little bit, fence them in on this area instead, or, or just uh, maybe I'll extend the fencing. I'll just remove this line here and they can all be fenced in over on the spot. Uh, oh wait, that's right. I needed to have uh, at least a, a slightly positive uh, amount of stuff uh, for, for the tree to grow. Yep, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, I guess I need to make another one of these little platforms, too. There we go. Now I just need to get the cows all over here. Come here, because I accidentally knocked out one little section of dirt. There we go. That'll eventually spread over, and I can replant the sugar. No, no. Okay, I didn't know that... I that's that's a weird thing. I now have lots of sugarcane seeds. That's great, which I can't even get rid of. Eh. There we go. They're gone. So, I have cows. Let's get you all to start doing this, and hopefully this is going to be enough. I don't know that it is, but we will find out if it is. Simply from the first item not giving me anything. All right, so I need to find something that will increase the aura, bring it over here and perform whatever that is, the requirement for it, so that I can at least have a positive aura for this to work. Get out of my face. Ah, my good old fashioned swamp homie. All right, so yeah, it's probably not pronounced that way. I don't care. I like saying it that way. Uh, this property, <laughs> a great source of natural aura is the moss on any type of mossy block. This property can be, made, can be made of use in the form of the swamp homie. It will take any blocks around it that are covered in moss and remove it, leaving the clean block behind. For each block that it does this with, it generates a bit of aura and spreads it into the environment, which there are many ways of making mossy stone. One of which involves uh, the uh, the aura mod itself, I think. Is it the botanist hoe? I don't remember. That that requires some uh, horizonite, which I've got a bunch. So let's take some of this down here, because um, I think that works. I'm going to need a piece of cobblestone. I don't have any cobblestone. Yes, I do. There we go. I now have a piece of cobblestone. So let's head on down to the other side and get stuck in a tree on, on my way. <laughs> See if I can actually make uh, a little bit of this. Let's put in a couple of those for them to transform. And then I need what, the, the ancient wood rod, which is made from some, some planks, right? There we go. And I don't have a crafting table nearby, so I'm going to use my utility. All right, there we go. And I can just make it here, right? I think so. Yeah, I should be able to. I don't see why not. Let's grab these. Make some of those. Make some of those. Actually, I might as well just make the rest of them into, into the sticks as well. And then grab the two ingots that I had and try this. I can't remember if it's the hoe or not. I think it is. And if I put this down... 
Oh, I need to have a, a tablet. I also need to have a tablet. Uh, it's just like a mana tablet, but instead it stores aura. There it is, one of these, an aura cache. Which, that's actually not that bad at all. I've, I've got enough of those. Let's put some of these up here. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four of those. Throw them in there. I'll go get a bucket, and I'll be right back. One, two, three, four. And that should probably do it for making one of those. Uh, where is it? The uh, aura cache. There we go. And made. And then in order to charge this up, you can store it on here. And it'll just suck in a whole bunch of the aura around it. Which, it will take some time, I believe, to do this. Yeah. Actually, it's not that bad. That was already half full. But it, it drains out a lot of it. So these trees are actually going to start getting some brown spots on them. You can already see one over there. Oh, it went down. All right, so it is ready. Now, using the aura cache, I should be able to make, make this. What is it for that? I don't even remember which one it was. Oh, it's the pick, wasn't it? It was the pick. Shoot. I've done one, two, three. I've, I've made the wrong tool. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a tool. All right, let's see if I can do this. I think it's just a right click. Yes. Yes. All right. So if I just place some cobblestone nearby, then I can click this, turn it into mossy stone to feed the swamp homie to then make more aura around here. So we need a swamp homie, which means a token of joy. I just used up my token of joy to make this token of euphoria. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to gather all these ingredients and the those for the token of joy, and I'll be right back. That is one wonky looking tree, I tell you what, but it seems to be doing the trick, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> oh, I heard it. Yay, tokens of joy. All right, so I think I've got enough here. Let me put this down. Because I need to make a little bit more. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that this thing, like if I sneak while holding it, it repairs it from my aura cache as well, which it displays down here. So it's another set of self-repairing tools. It works a little differently, but it doesn't require mending at least. So that's pretty cool. Now I just need to kind of make this stuff. Uh, swamp homie, make it. Got it. Good. All right. Now, this means I can put that away. I will need to have a little area over here for the swamp homie to hang out. I think I'm just going to have it over on one side here. Uh, just someplace simple for the time being. It is going to be consisting of cobblestone. So, <laughs> nothing really fancy here. We're going to do just nine blocks of cobble. You don't even need that many, to be honest. And then you just get yourself your pick. And you can see it's already doing its thing. Now you can make multiples of these. Actually, I probably should. Um, and you can speed things along quite well. I don't have the eye. Where is it? This. The environmental eye and the ocular. These will allow you to actually see... What's Ventium ingot? Uh, what the, um, the current aura is in the... Oh, shoot. That, that destroyed that pick so fast. Okay, I was anticipating it to last a little longer. All right, looks like I'm going to need to make myself another pick. I'll be right back. All right, let's give this another go, shall we? Yeah, let's see how quick this goes. Yeah, that's already a third of the dur durability. Boy, that, that that apparently has been nerfed a little bit. So Because I, I used to, this used to be the trick that I would do, is I would just totally make so much positive aura from this that I, I would be able to to get like about i don't know 50 blocks maybe 60 before i would need to repair it now it, it's more like 10 or 15 or something so that that's definitely a big change from what it used to be but still you can see my aura cache is definitely dropping but it's increasing the aura over here nonetheless and you know you've got a really good aura effect uh, in the area when you start seeing like just particles randomly around excuse me cows uh, that are just kind of kind of like the green particles over here I guess 
Maybe not quite so bright. May, may a little bit more yellowish, I think, is probably going to be it. And you'll just see them randomly around in the area. I'm just going to do a little bit more so that I know that I've got a positive aura over here. Because it, it, it might be different over there than it is over here. That's definitely a possibility. Yeah, I don't want to break my pick if it can be helped. But that should, I think, be good enough. Let's find out, shall we? We're going to try... Breeding some cows, because it's been a while. Are you close enough? Is that good? Hey, I got it. I got it. We're going to do some more, because why not? Give give me all the, the spirits of birth, yes. Do you do you have someone that's interested besides, besides the baby cows? No, oh, I'm sorry. You're the odd one out this time. <laughs> If only that that one there is almost dead. Can can I heal you any? No. Oh, there we go. There's there's a second one. There was. See, everyone's got a friend. All right, there we go. And I've got an egg. Let's just toss that over there. All right. Well, I've got plenty of spirits of birthing at this point, which I can't remember what else I needed that for. Uh, it's back to. Oh, that's right. We're going to be using it. For making, what is it, frog legs or something like that? Hippity hoppity. To get to the next dimension, we're going to need the legs of a frog. <laughs> so, you're going to need to summon one with the birthing altar. And yes, you're then going to need to kill it. Don't look at me like that. It's for the uh, greater good, I swear. Alright, frog leg. So, we need to collect that frog leg. And we get to spawn frogs from it. Oh, lily pads. Well, that's not bad, because I can transmute those. Um... From... Oh, gosh, the darn feathers. Let's see if I can actually get over here. I, I keep getting hung up on these trees because you can actually somewhat climb them, which is nice in some ways, not so much in others. But I've got plenty of spirits of birthing now. Oh, gosh, a birch cat can get out of here. Um, so let me grab a lily pad, which I'm not really sure where it is in here. I think we've got some here. Where's here? Oh, spaghetti string. There we go. Uh, there. I'm going to take a couple of these. I'm going to convert them uh, so that I can make sure that I've got the proper amount that I need with my new transmutation catalyst. Yeah. All right. Toss that there. We'll turn it into a regular lily pad. Yep. And drop below. And of course, I'm going to get ironwood berries. Get out of here. There we go. I now have a couple of those. And I think I can summon this. Is it on on the ritual table? Let's have a look again. No. Uh, oh, on the birthing. Altar of birthing. So spirit of birthing and a lily pad. All right, let's just look up in the book how the birthing altar works. Because I am wanting to make sure. Since before, when I, I didn't realize that I would need like a slightly positive aura field over here. And now I know this. So, I just want to make sure that I have everything right before I start wasting too many materials. Alright, so it says, All ingredients, including the spirit of birthing, are required to be thrown down on the ground, close to the altar of birthing, and the process will begin automatically. The following pages outline the construction, way to obtain it, and so on and so forth. Alright, so, yeah. So, I guess I just need to turn off my magnet, as before. Grab one of these... And one of those. Toss those down and it should just do its thing. Poof. There's a frog. Look at that little dude. Oh my gosh. That is a cute little froggo. It's got six health. Well, not for long. And thankfully, the thunder color should not affect any of the animals. 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 I take it back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, other animals. <laughs> Maybe it was because of the swipe. I should have jumped. I should have jumped. Hippity hoppity. Okay, so that completes that. <laughs> How many frog legs did I get? I got one. But I did get the ability to spawn two more frogs. So maybe I'll just do that in a little bit safer of an area. Let's not do this over by the cows. Let's do this right here. Uh, we're going to toss these dudes here. Oh. How many frog legs do I need for the next quest? That's the question. 
uh, is how many do I need? Because if I can just spawn an extra frog and leave it there, <laughs> that would be something else. Corrupted darkness. Let's take a look at these quests and then we'll go back. Where we seek to go next requires summoning something truly evil. But to do that first, we'll need to visit a dark place. Literally, just like you've collected bottled sunlight from a handful of dimensions, the bottled ghosts from the nether. Now you must collect some bottled darkness using a bottle and cork. Unfortunately, I know only one place where this can be collected. A series of rifts accessed through ancient stone gateways, the first and only time the council set a grand mage to investigate that place. She disappeared, never to be heard from again. Yep. It's danger stuff. Labyrinth rift. Yeah, that, that's that's the dimensional doors dimension, which I did get these. I don't know if I still have bottled darkness. Uh, meanwhile, I've got frog hand going on over here. Uh, let's see, bottled. I do have some bottled darkness. Uh, so, which is way over here. Oh, that's right, because it's part of nature's aura. And I just need to grab one of those. I've got some in my inventory already because I already had completed it. I just needed to click on the quest. All right, fair enough. So let's go back here. We survived that last episode. Gateways are found in most dimensions, including Aether, Misty World, Everbright, and Everdawn. <laughs> They're so dangerous. They're so dangerous. All right, the corrupted and deep in the swamp. All right. With that bottled darkness, you can now summon the hollow creatures of darkness known as dark druids. These foul... <laughs> nice, appropriate timing there with the, the woos and the stuff. Now, these foul vestiges carry fragments of the swamp talisman, which is needed to open up the next dimension I wish for you to visit, but they surely won't give them up without a fight. Got an amulet of potential as a reward. Grants 15% chance to shoot lightning at creatures that melee attack you. <laughs> nice. So we need to kill these guys. But in order to kill these guys... Oh, wait, we we can birth them? I suddenly feel that I need to move my cows. <laughs> but yet the cows are what is made the spirits of birthing. Oh my gosh. Because I need one of each of these for the, uh, the other part, deep in the swamp. Am I mistaken or did Gaia's avatar just ask, where is it? Before it flew into a rage. What could that possibly mean? I think there's something that bears investigating here. But to do that, you'll need to head to the Betweenlands. For that, you'll need the special altar used to reconstruct a broken swamp talisman. So you make this altar. Normally, you just find this in a swamp biome in the overworld if you're playing between lands, which, by the way, best mod uh, for 112 to uh, period. But anyway, uh, you just normally you'd find this in a swamp biome in the overworld. Well, there isn't any here, so we have to make it in this. And then on the previous quest, this... You have to kill enough of these druids that spawn near the uh, the little altar area until they drop enough of these. You want to keep these in your inventory. Don't, that way you'll get the, the right ones. Uh, and then you can put them all in the dark druid altar, and it will. you can then form this wand. Uh, wow, okay. That looks like a, I need two legs. There we go. That you can then use on the ground uh, on a on a sapling, I believe, and it will create a giant uh, opening to the between lands. Oh, I see. I see you, Ironwood Seeds. Back off. I'm not picking you up. No. <laughs> so what this means is that I can I can just kill one frog, and then I can keep the other one as a pet. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how to tame these guys. I don't know if you can. Maybe I'll have to ask around about that. But for now, we'll do a bit of this. I get another leg, and that should be good. And I think what we're going to do is I'm going to call it here, uh, if only because I think this is going to be excellent. We do a setup for getting into the Between Lands next time, and uh, we see just how much is left in this mod pack for Season 1. So once again, if you guys have been enjoying this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief to others if you think that they'll enjoy our content too. Uh, don't be afraid to click that notification bell. I'll see you all on Twitch sometime. Take it easy.